Hello again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com, Handy Andy Handyman. Welcome back to another run through. This is on a, a rental property in the city of Atlanta, and we got called out for some deck repairs on this one. And the thing you want to remember about your decks is you got to maintain them. You got to pressure wash them every year at least and reapply stain every year to two years. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with some of what's going on here. This deck, I don't know how old it is, uh, but on these upper stairs, they didn't have a, a, a middle stringer on either side of these things. So they just don't have enough support to carry these steps. The, the steps are all two by six material, which is great, which is really the only reason that it's held up. And most of this stuff is nailed. It's been repaired before. So what we're looking on this one, the left side unit is unit B. Some of these bolts on the outside posts, they built it the way they built it, so you don't want to rebuild the whole thing. Most of it's salvageable at this point, uh, but you can see on these outside posts here, they put fender washers. So really, it, it helps secure and strengthen as you're bolting these things down to have fender washers on both sides. Otherwise, you're cutting through the wood, which is what they did over here with these carriage bolts. So these railings will loosen up over time. So anywhere you don't have fender washers, you want to add them on the inside or the outside of these bolts going all the way through. This tenant on the left side has a lot of stuff on the deck, so it's not draining well. So you just got to move that stuff around or you're going to rot out all the wood up there. We'll show you what's going on up there in a second. On the railings, most of this stuff was nailed instead of screwed. We're going to have to repair some of these 2x2 two two inserts. Uh, my carpenters will check through this stuff as we're coming through. All of the 2x4 top cap on the stairwell, on the stair railing, and then on the top railing around each one of these decks needs to be replaced. We're going to go ahead and bid A and B so you'll have both of them. This is the B side. Coming up the main center steps right here, you can see how they have a center stringer here. So they got the outside and the center stringer. For some reason they left them off or they rotted off. I don't know what they did. The bottom two steps right here just need to be replaced. They're rotted through and they're split. Uh, the rest of these can be salvaged as you come up through. You can see the condition of these top railings all the way through. They're just shot out. And they've been shot for a while. Somebody's come through and tried to repair them. Um, most of this stuff was nailed. And the key to nailing this stuff we don't use nails on decks. We use screws and we drill pilot holes. So they'll have new wood here. It'll minimize the split. See where everything is split here? And you can follow it through the wood and it's just tore out now. Um, something that can be added later on is some flashing through here and on the tops of the decks. You'll see the difference between the two. Uh, on this left side going to unit B, all these stair treads need to be replaced. It, you have replaced one board here a year or two ago. And you can see this fellow, whoever came and did the work, use screws but he didn't drill pilot holes you can see where it's already starting to split out and that board is probably maybe a year old i would guess the rest of this stuff we're gonna have to replace it anyway because we're gonna have to come in here and add a new stringer and you can see what's happened here he added a block here because the outside stringer broke where it was nailed so we'll look at that screw that stuff together make it a lot more secure but walking up this thing is very dangerous right now you can see with my weight i'm 220 pounds you see that top moves because there's no plate underneath these stairs on either one of these sides and that really should be added in as well you know you're going to spend a little bit of money on these repairs but look at the step right here this is definitely a nightmare waiting to happen for a tenant comes out here and falls down um, but these things never should have been built this way on the top of the deck on unit b they've lost the cut down two by four that sealed this gap right here we would suggest on top of that you cut in and add a angle cut pressure treated flashing so it'll shed water away from the house. Right now that water's back in behind the house. And even with this flashing that they installed here, my guess is it's getting behind the siding. So I would go ahead and do it. You're going to replace four boards. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two by sixes across here. And then there's another one out here somewhere. I wrote it down as I went through it. I think it's this one right here. One or two more out here. And then we'll come through and replace the top cap railing all the way around. Why they put two posts on the outside, I don't know why. They could have just done it with one, and it would have been a lot more secure and stable, but we'll bolt these things up. We'll just replace the top cap all the way around. It's a rental property, so you don't want to go crazy, but you want to make sure this stuff is all safe and secure. While we're at it, the owner may want to have us repair this rotted frame right now. Once you get moisture in a frame like that with all these trees and stuff, it draws carpenter ants and termites, and you're going to have more trouble. You let it go. This has been repaired before. You can see whoever did it didn't have the right materials so they did a cut down piece and instead of overlapping this is one by four inside and this is one by eight on the outside instead he tried to cut out the rotted wood and slam in a piece of 
five quarter board to make that work he made a horizontal cut so what's happening is all the water is getting in behind it and riding out here you can see how rotted is I can push my whole hand right through it so you just want to catch that stuff while you can it's not a huge expense but it'll become a huge expense if you don't stay after it so that is the B side of the property on the A side of the property we got the same issue with the steps here all these stair treads need to be replaced put a central stringer in the middle of this thing uh, the carpenters will cut it on site and you see I mean the difference is this board right here is ready to snap and I don't know if you can see it flexing under my weight and that's only part of my weight I put 200 pounds on that thing and I'm ready to go through it so I'd replace all those the edges are starting to rot here in this deck but if the owner can pressure wash this stuff come back and stain it in the fall sometime or whenever you know funds permit he'll be able to save most of this stuff the decking over here and the difference is this this tenant or whoever's living here has a lot of uh, open space on the deck versus what's going on over there and so it's not trapping as much water I think all the decking up here is still good um, if you're doing this kind of stuff don't use nails this deck was built with nails it becomes a safety issue as they raise up all this wood shrinks over time but this is solid two by six material so if you clean it up pressure wash it stain it and stay after it you won't have any issues as you replace this stuff pay a little extra use some screws and you'll have less issues the right side of this unit's door frame is rotted as well um, no one's repaired it yet and you can see the difference this is a one by it's actually a one by six on the inside of this one and a one by eight on the outside um, and what's happening is because they didn't back prime the replacement wood this stuff's all been replaced before you can see all the air nails see nail gun holes they didn't even caulk this stuff they just slammed it in here and said have a nice day which you know that may be all this owner paid for I don't know but usually not when we repair it we back prime everything caulk it up good uh, and then it's good for a, a long time not just a, a little year repair or something and then under here we'll show you as we're leaving really want to add underneath where the the steps join the deck should really have a support built under here right here from right in this area right here there should be a plate under here drop straight down supported by a four by four pressure treated post just to give it that extra strength in that corner but these things right now the way these sit this is extremely dangerous very very dangerous situation that we want to get correct as soon as we can so uh, happy to show you some things the videos help for the owner so they can actually see what's going on with this stuff most of the wood on the deck is great and it's solid these four by six posts are in great shape didn't see any other issues uh, the one thing we did know while we're here is they've replaced this vent boot on the back of the house at some point and you can see the shadow underneath it where it's every time it rains the water's getting right up underneath there see that under the boot it's never nailed probably don't use those plastic boots we use the metal ones they last a heck of a lot longer um, but that just needs to be secured and nailed i'm andy with handy andy handyman 770-912-2829 handyandyhome.com from an hour to a week or two in duration we're happy to handle all your home repairs just be uh, patient with us we're a small company family owned american owned here in atlanta 25 years we just can't keep up with everything sometimes so be patient thanks so much see you at the next house bye for now